Welcome. You and I are going to talk about one of the biggest problems for property managers, one of the biggest problems for leasing agents, a massive problem for the apartment industry. And not only am I going to talk to you about why this is a problem, but I'm going to help you turn this incredibly huge problem into an opportunity for you, an opportunity to make your life easier, to help you lease more apartments, to help make your job more fun. I know you're going to be so psyched about this video and about what we talk about today because this is a hot topic. We've gotten a lot of comments on this topic and I'm so excited to talk to you about it today and give you some fresh perspectives. But before we do, I want to give all of my certified leasing consultants that have earned their CLC credential from Leasing University a very special shout out, a very warm welcome to the video. I love my CLC my certified leasing consultant folks out there. If you want to get your certified leasing consultant credential, you can get all the training in the world. You can get unlimited training from Leasing University for $299. As soon as you complete the video training, you simply let us know and we will FedEx you your own certified leasing consultant credential. But let's talk about what this big problem is and why it's such a big problem. Did you know and we did thousands of test phone calls to get this data. Did you know on average, if you call an apartment community, there's an 87% chance that a live human being, a property manager, a leasing consultant, an assistant manager, a live person, even a maintenance person, 87% chance that they are not going to answer the phone with a person within three rings of your call. All right. That doesn't sound like such a big problem. That sounds like an industry norm. Well, it is an industry norm if it's 87% of people, but here's where it gets scary. And here's where this might be a little bit of an eye opener for you. Did you also know that 76% of renters, if they call an apartment community and they do not connect with a leasing agent or leasing consultant or property manager, they don't make that human connection. Let's say they've got to leave a voicemail. They will keep calling other apartment communities. People moving is not a fun experience for people. This is a task that they're trying to complete. So when they call your apartment community and they get voicemail, they're not putting their life on hold. And I know this probably is not a news flash to you, but you probably have never thought about it like this before. They're not putting their life on hold. They're calling the next community. Okay. They're calling the next apartment complex. They're calling the next property. All right. So they're going to call, call, call until finally they get somebody on the phone. Here's where the phenomenon gets really scary for us. Moving is stressful. It's one of the top three most stressful life events that people go through. When things are stressful, we have a limited capacity in our brain to deal with information. That phenomenon is important to you. Why? Because 87% of properties don't answer the phone within three rings with a person. 76% of renters will keep calling. Well, here's the third piece of data that you need to know. When they do reach one of your competitors' properties, when they do reach a competitive community and they, they do get a person and they schedule a tour, guess what they won't do? They won't call you back and they will stop calling other communities because this is a stressful, scary life event. Once they have an appointment, typically 76% of the time that renter will say, Hey, I'm putting everything on pause until I go see uh, Tiburon apartments or forest meadow apartments, whatever it is. I talked to Pam there. I've got an appointment scheduled for tomorrow at two o'clock. They don't continue their search. So now it's basic 76% of the time. If you don't answer the phone before you can call that prospect back, they've already scheduled a tour with somebody else. And basically you have to wait for that leasing consultant to not do their job, to have not been certified through leasing university. So they don't have the phone skills. They don't know how to determine wants and needs. They don't know how to handle objections, all the stuff that we teach and they fail to get the lease. Hopefully that's what's going on. But if they call one of my students, my students are going to get the lease. Okay. So that lead is gone for you. So let's talk about why this is so important to you. Number one, I want you to answer the phone within three rings. We've talked about this on other videos before, but unless you're on fire, 
okay? And I was taught in second grade to stop, drop, and roll. Last time I checked, I can stop, drop, and roll with a phone attached to my ear. So I'm gonna answer that phone no matter what. Now I know what y'all are thinking. What's the big no matter what? And I've gotten probably 200 comments on this on other videos. Let me give you, put this one up. Can you guys put this one up on the big board? Here's a perfect example of the no matter what. The what of where you probably, most of you are not answering the phone. Here's a comment. Do you answer the phone if you have prospects in front of you? I usually don't unless it's someone I've been expecting. Somebody else wrote, I need to know the answer, please. Somebody else wrote, no, thank you, Joey, for writing no. Uh, that list goes on and on, and most of the people that tried to answer her question said, no, don't answer the phone if you have a prospect. Makes sense, right? You've got a prospect in front of you. You all have probably been trained on this before. If you have a prospect in front of you, that prospect is the most important person in the world. You need to show them the respect. You need to take care of that lead that's in front of you and don't have distractions answering the phone. I agree with all of that to some degree. All of that makes sense to me to some degree. But if you want to be a rock star, if you want to be the best leasing professional in your market, if you want to sign more leases than anybody else at your property, at your portfolio, if you want to blow the doors off of your competition, I encourage you, think about what I'm about to tell you. Let's take a little story here. Let's go, let's go on a little trip here. It's Saturday morning. You're hungry. You heard about a restaurant, okay? Best breakfast in town. You head over there. Parking lot's full. There's people standing outside of the restaurant. You go in. I know what they tell you every time because I get told the same thing. It's a, what's your name? It's a 15, 20 minute wait. You're like, there's 782 people standing out in front of this restaurant. I don't know how it's going to be a 15, 20 minute wait, but you wait, right? It's usually more like an hour. I digress. All right. We'll talk about that in another video, but you wait. And I know it's frustrating for you to wait, but what does seeing all of those people in front of that restaurant also do? What does it do to your tummy? It kind of makes you hungry, doesn't it? It kind of makes you excited about eating at this restaurant. Now let's flip the script a little bit. It's Saturday morning, you're hungry, you want to treat yourself, you hear about a restaurant and you go drive there and it seems closed because there's no cars in the parking lot and you open the door and there's no people eating there. I want you to think about when you see an empty restaurant how that makes you feel, how that makes your stomach feel. Do you get hungry or do you get a little freaked out? Do you get a little bit scared? Like, hey, did I make the right decision? Is this the right place to eat? You never have those feelings when there's people waiting out in front of the restaurant that you're about to eat at. So where am I going with this? A lot of you are like, well, all right, now I'm hungry and I want some pancakes, but where are you going with this, Matt? Here's where I'm going with this. I get it. I understand completely that probably a lot of the trainers you've worked with in the past, maybe some other people have given you some advice and said, hey, the most important person is the person in front of you. Don't answer the phone when you're working with a prospect. And if you're not ready for this, it's okay. But if you are, I encourage you to try this, especially if you've been through Leasing University and you've got the confidence and you're ready to try new things. You're working with a prospect. You've been through the Leasing University phone training. You've set this appointment. This appointment's going fantastic. You know how to uncover their wants and needs because we trained you. You're asking all the right questions because we've taught you those questions to ask. And in the middle of this wonderful tour, in the middle of this wonderful dialogue, in the middle of this wonderful relationship with your prospect, the phone rings. You've got two choices. You let it go to voicemail or you answer it. And I know you don't want to be rude. And I know that the prospect in front of you is the most important person in the world, but I want to ask you, ask you, is this rude? If you lower your voice, let's say the person you're working with's name is Kim. You lower your voice, you say, Kim, do you mind really quick? I mean, this property is so hot right now. We're so busy right now. I want to make sure that we're fair to everybody. We want to give everybody an equal opportunity to lease one of the few apartments that we have left. Can I grab that call really quick? 100% of the time, Kim is going to say what? No problem. Do what you need to do. 
No problem. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no problem. All you're doing is you're lowering your voice. You're not ignoring them. You're not grabbing the phone and hey, going into your sales pitch. You're lowering your voice. Kim, we've been so, we've been, I, I know, you know, we've been so slammed. We've been so busy. I want to make sure that everybody has an equal opportunity to rent one of the few available apartments that we have. Can I grab this really quick? 100% of the time they will say yes. And 100% of the time, and we've taught you in Leasing University the things to say when you answer the phone. So you can get off of that call very, very quickly and you can sound extremely professional. But while you're taking that, it's only a minute to get their information. While you're taking that minute, what is Kim going to be thinking in her head? Suddenly, you've transported Kim to that busy restaurant that everybody wants to eat at. And Kim's getting really, really hungry. Everybody wants to live where everybody wants to live. And I know that you've been told in the past, do not answer the phone. But I want you to consider this. I want you to practice. I want you to role play. I want you to rehearse. And I want you to get good about being such a professional that you can simultaneously handle the prospect in front of you and also handle taking a call. If you do it the right way, what do you think Kim is going to do before she leaves the property? There's a pretty good chance that Kim is going to lock down the apartment that she's interested in because she knows there's people calling and there's people coming in and there's people waiting and the next person is probably going to take her apartment from her. You don't have to be high pressure. You don't have to be slick. You just need to lower your voice and say, Kim, do you mind? I'd really appreciate it. We're so busy. We've been so slammed. Property is so popular and we've only got a few available apartments. I want to be fair to everybody. Can I just grab this call really quick? That's all you need to do. Now, let's say you answer the phone and it's a current resident. Let's say you answer the phone and it's a vendor. Let's say you answer the phone and it's Matt Easton and he wants to know, hey, I just want to verify uh, the address because we're sending out your certified leasing consultant credential. Kim does not need to know that it's a current resident. Kim does not need to know it's a vendor. Kim does not need to know it's Matt Easton from Leasing University. All you have to simply say is, I'm so excited to help you. I'm working with a prospect right now. Can I grab your name and number? I will call you back immediately as soon as we finish up here. It's a great day at Tiburon Apartments. What can I get you information on? Oh yeah, this is Skip with uh, the Sprinkler Company. Kim can't hear what Skip is saying. This is Skip with the Sprinkler Company. Uh, we need to schedule your, your sprinkler blowouts or whatever it is. Skip. I'm so excited to help you. I'm working with a prospect right now. Can I grab your last name and your number and I will call you back immediately as soon as we finish up here. And I'm not saying lie and tell Kim that, hey, that was a prospect, but Kim's going to put two and two together and say, Skip, he going to try and take my apartment and I'm not having that. I want this apartment. Remember that. I want you to try this. Please comment your thoughts below. I know this is counter to what a lot of you have been doing. And I know if you try this, you are going to find amazing, amazing, amazing results. Not one prospect is going to be so offended when you handle it that way. Absolutely not. You can't be fair to everybody and you can't do your job and they're going to walk out on you. It's never going to happen. Have you ever received great service at a restaurant and been so upset with your server for them serving the table next to you that you got up and left and didn't pay your bill? Absolutely not. You realize that that person is a professional. It's no different with leasing professionals. You're a professional, you are doing your job, and you want to be fair to every single person because your property is hot. Your property is the place to live, and you want to make sure that everybody has an equal opportunity to live at that community. I hope this helps. I look forward to reading all your comments. I know this is going to answer a lot of people's questions. I know for a few of you, it's going to be like, I would love it. I would be so honored to send your 
certified leasing consultant credential to you. I'm gonna, I sign every single one of them personally. I'd be so honored to sign yours. I can't wait to have the team FedEx out your credential. Please, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe, it's all about you. It's all about helping you lease apartments. Check out Leasing University. We would love to have you part of the team. Until the next video, my name's Matt Easton. I'm the founder of Leasing University. I want you to be great, and I want you to get those leases. Five hundred of the top property management companies work with Leasing University. We conduct 100 live apartment leasing training events per year. We help our clients sign over 100,000 additional leases per year, adding $2 billion to their revenue. Leasing consultants that have access to Leasing University lease seven times more apartments than the rest of the industry. Leasing University is new. Leasing University is game-changing, and Leasing University will get you seven times more leases. Listen, the apartment industry has changed. The way people rent apartments today is totally different than it was yesterday. Today's renter has more access to information and they've got more choices in apartments than they've ever had before. If you're struggling to get leases, it's most likely not your location, it's not your amenities, and it's not your price. It's your sales training. If you've been made to sit through a boring class or unrealistic online training, and you're not getting the skills that you need to work with renters, to help you handle their objections, and to make sure you close the lease and rent the apartment, well, that ends today with Leasing University. Our simple, fun, and exciting step-by-step -step online training and live events will give you the skills and confidence that you need to lease seven times more apartments. Earn your certified leasing consultant credential in less than 30 days with Leasing University. Simply click on the link to get started and head over to leasinguniversity.com now to start your training.